Uh, dispatch, we have vehicles spotted westbound US Route 1 attempting to pull over. Oh, shit, man. This about killed me. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. We're playing some more LSPDFR. We're going to be out here in the Sheriff District today and uh, we're going to get a car. Hope you guys are doing really well. Dispatch requesting a car. All right, so we got a really cool uh, vehicle to show you here. It's a 2018 Dodge Durango. It is by Straight Glitches. This thing is uh, super badass. I'll let him pull it in here. All right, and then he'll get picked up by another unit. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get on patrol. Thank you guys for joining me. Dispatch, go ahead and show me tonight. Copy that. Let's go. You should the light bar real fast. Uh, this is stage two, or stage one, rather. Here's stage two, and that's his ride right there. Get out of the way. And then there's stage three right there. It's pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Hope you guys, like I said, are doing really good. I am in San Antonio for Saturday, but I decided to upload a video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. Let's go. I uh, dispatch, show me your responding code too. 1043 John21. Okay, we're gonna head over there, code two. We have a security guard that needs some assistance, so we're gonna head back this direction here. Units respond code two. Everybody drives so damn slow here, man. Come on, man. What are you doing? Doing the same thing I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's head on back this direction here. And then uh, the security guard, I think it's going to be down at the lodge. He's got some issues down there. Going to flip on some lights just to kind of get some people out of the way, you know. Yeah, it's going to be the lodge area. Uh, dispatch, show me on scene. We're going to be northbound, Procopio Promenade. Roger, 3, John, 21. Proceed with caution. Well, that's really Someone's filmed okay, so... Officers are at the scene. We got somebody up here that seems to be pissed off. Uh, let's see. Are they going to be back in here? They're going to be up the stubs here. All right, here they are. There's one guy right there. Okay, there's a security guard right there. Uh, let's talk to the security guard first. He says, hey, officer, finally, it's almost uh, time for me to clock off. Okay. Because that idiot is trying to gain access without paying. He goes, it's about time they felt the force of justice of the law. No? He goes, let's, let's get this uh, sorted out so I can get home. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Hang on a second. All right, sir, what say you, man? Because, oh, sir, I don't, I don't think you understand. All right, well, explain it to me. If you make me pay, I will make you pay. Oh, really? How are you going to do that? I hope you understand what I'm saying to you. Are you threatening an officer? I ain't got time for this. Got bronchitis, you know what I'm saying? Alright, well then now I'll deal with it the way I see fit. Alright, let me see your ID. Okay. 
Threatening an officer, huh? Dispatch, can I get a pet check on a Jimmy Pesto 6895? Right, let me look him up real fast. In our database. He's never been arrested. Looks pretty clean. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right, can I get your ID, sir, for our records? Thank you. I dispatch. Can I get a pet check on a Jake Colburn seven four seventy three? Okay, he seems to be okay. All right, man, you seem to be very confrontational. Uh, turn around. Let me pat you down. You nothing, no illegal weapons on you, anything like that. Sounds like a threat, man. Alright. Tell you what. Why don't you get out of here? You can leave, okay? Hey! Get out of here. Alright, sir. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And then, uh, tell you what we'll do. And then we'll just kind of let him go, be on his way as well. We had to Okay, I think we're done here. I guess they have uh, people pay to go up to the dam area. It's kind of unusual. I dispatch. Go ahead and show me code four. Acknowledged. All right, so we ran him through the database. He seems to be okay. He doesn't have anything illegal. He can make threats all he wants, but you know. He's just mad. That's all it is. All units, we have a driver out of control. Vehicle black scene on um, Great Ocean Highway. Units respond code two. And dispatch responding code two. Ten four copy three John twenty one. Okay, we got a vehicle that has like an insecure load and it seems to be driving kind of erratic so we'll head this direction here and we'll see if we can find him. I don't have a lot of description on the vehicle yet. Okay, it's a utility vehicle. He might be heading this direction here so we'll go ahead back over here. See if we can find him. I don't know if he's Head in this direction, or if he's going to be heading the other direction. Oh, I think I see him right up there. Yeah. We see these all the time in Texas. People driving with insecure loads. Look at this thing. I right, dispatch. We have vehicles spotted westbound US Route 1 attempting to pull over. Oh, shit, man. This about killed me. Fell right off the back of that thing. Screw up, man. Pull forward. I dispatch. We have uh, a large... Uh, piece of debris that fell off of westbound US Route 1. Uh, we're going to need somebody to pick that up in just a moment, but it's blocking the first lane. Acknowledged. Dispatch, show me on a traffic stop westbound US Route 1. Stand by for 28. 10 4 3 John 21. Proceed with caution. Dispatch, uh, requesting plate check. Requesting plate check. Suspect license plate zero niner Edward George Tom five seven four. A warrant issued. Proceed with caution. Okay, he has a warrant issued as well. Requesting code two backup. Assistance needed in the Chiles Mountain State Wilderness. 
You know, we have a piece of debris still back there. I wonder, can I pick that up? I think I, I might be able to. Got a new park ranger vehicle as well. It's kind of cool, right? Hey there, sir. We're going to go back and try to pick up that debris in just a moment if we can. Alright, so it's occupied two times. Hello, sir. Hey, Deputy Benzo, Blank County Sheriff. Hey, uh, notice you you just, a uh, big old piece of debris just fell off. I mean, like a big old trash can that fell out the back of your truck there. You can see all your license, registration, insurance. This is Mark Gregory. Everything's kind of in order with that. But I do want to ask him because I can smell alcohol coming from the vehicle. You been drinking today, sir? Drank a six pack of beer. Any kind of medications, legal drugs, anything like that? I've been clean for a year. Right, where are you heading to? Going to work. Right, where'd Jesus come from? I have the right to remain silent. Alright. Ma'am, can, can you hand me your ID back over there? Can you pass it over here? Thank you. Okay, Johnson. Alright, driver. Can you step on out? Step on out. All right, till we get this situated here, I want you to do me a favor here. Follow me back over here. And you reek of alcohol, man. Come back over here. Okay, that deputy back over there, that park ranger's kind of, you know, taking notice of him. Um, this is about the best place we can do it right here. I'm, just, I'm probably going to do just a few tests here, first of all. All right, nothing legal on anything like that. You just question him again. Any illegal on you? So, you don't have the right to touch me. All right. So what are you doing out here, man? I mean, you're driving with an, you know, illegal load first of all, and I mean, you're endangering people's lives. It's just stuck out on the freeway back over there. He says he needs to get some fresh air. All right. When was the last time you had a drink? Just an hour ago. All right, how much did you have to drink again? Bottle of vodka? <laughs> Damn, man. All right, well, first of all, let me pat you down. You said I can't touch you? Well, guess what? We're touching you. But this going to poke me, stick me harm anyway. All right, you got a baggie of brown powder. You have fentanyl on you and a pipe with tin powder residue. Tell you what, if you ever go ahead and turn around, put your hands behind your back. Currently, you're being placed under arrest for possession of narcotics and then one more thing we're going to do as well if you'll consent to that we consent to a breathalyzer here in the field you will good good all right we're going to do a breathalyzer on this guy all right and how are you still standing sir 0 0.249 percent the legal limit here and Los Santos is 0.08 percent. Surprised you don't have alcohol poisoning. And just for grins, because my viewers would want to know, let's see what kind of narcotics you're under. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't do this, guys. All right, negative there. That's surprising. Okay. All right. Here you come with me. Here, come here. Ah, too well. Spin the back of our vehicle here. All right, sir. Well, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford that attorney, the state of San Andreas will appoint one to you free of charge. You understand these rights that I've read you, and also you can stop questioning any time. Do you understand these rights? Okay. All right. He's going to stay silent. Look at this crap. We have this happen all the time in Texas, guys. Um... I don't know if I can talk to her back over here. I really wish I'd have gotten her out too. But I, yeah, I really wish I, there was a way to actually get her out. Maybe I could just, okay, there we go. Double tap E, stop the pet. Hello, ma'am. 
Alright, can I get your ID one more time? Now, it smells like you've been drinking today, too. I dispatch, can I get a pet check on a Kate Johnson, common spelling, the last name 41569. Alright, you have a suspended license as well. And I have a feeling you've been drinking. You've been drinking today? Hmm? Anything to drink? So alcohol drinks are my favorite. Any drugs or like that? I've been clean for a year. Alright, so what we're going to do, uh, here, do me a favor, put, turn and put, put your hands behind your back. You're just being detained at the moment. Alright, so this is what we're going to do with her. She's not going to be allowed to, to drive, drive this thing because, first of all, it's insecure. And then, second of all, I have a feeling she's been drinking. So, um, I tell you what, let's go ahead and do, um, let's get a female officer out here. Requesting a female backup. Hey, Deputy, yeah, I got this. You can go ahead and leave, man. Thanks. And then I kind of want to go back down there and see if I can remove that. There's, I think there's a way you can call for a pickup to have that removed. And I kind of forgot. Um, oh, actually, here it is right here, guys. This is from Peter Yu, call outs. Uh, call for pickup of bulky items. So let's go ahead and do that. Attention all units. A my boss new truck is route. Okay, so we have... Uh, I kind of want to see this actually too. We have a female unit as well coming. Traitor. And then uh, there goes, I think, I think that thing just picked it up right there. I think. Somewhere in there. Wait a second. Where did their vehicle go? Did they, oh, did the game just like spawn in their vehicle to go pick it up? Okay, that's so weird. I wanted to search it. I love these mods, right? Come back over here. Why is he out again? God, man, these, these mods, man. Drive me crazy. Requesting a female backup. Backup required in the Chile Mountain State Wilderness. Alright, and then I guess we'll look, have to grab him. Is he got to go in the front seat? This is so weird. All right, get in the front seat with me then. Right, get on in there. All right. Hello. Step on out. Hey, you damn man. <laughs> here you come back here. I hate when these mods don't want to cooperate. You I'm know. All right, step on out. Okay, I'm trying to grab her. Can't grab her. There we go. All right, now let's grab this dude back again. Jeez, man. Let's get his ass back in there again. And then I want the female officer you know, to uh, pat her down. That's what I want. I'm not going to stop until I get this done. <laughs> Alright, so she's watching her again. There's a reason why I'm doing all this, because she was keeping an eye on him, and it would end up having me pat her down again. Alright, now she could pat her down. Can you go ahead and pat her down, deputy? Officer, whatever. See what else she has on her. Bag of heroin. Okay. Well, that explains it. And we'll get her in the back with your boyfriend. What the? Alrighty. There you go. Go ahead. I'll cover you. All right. Thank you, officer. Appreciate it. And then let's get them back into jail. He had fentanyl, she had heroin, and we're going to get back into the jail one sec. 
Okay, here we go. And then before, uh, actually, I can go ahead and do the charges down in the in the station. But yeah, we'll take them both. I'll take them down myself. All right, here we go. This is one. My plan was that she didn't have any legal on her was to call an Uber. That's all I was going to do. But we can't do that. All right, stay in here. But yeah, she had heroin. I'm not really worried about doing a breathalyzer on her. She wasn't driving, but she seems to be probably intoxicated as well. But we'll grab this guy. And then we'll put him in cell number one. No, you can't be with your girlfriend. All right, we'll do some charges. Okay, so let's see what we can come up with here. Charges. All right, for Kate Johnson, we're going to do drug possession, and then we're going to do heroin. Some of those charges for Mark Gregory. Oh, he had a warrant for his arrest, too. That's one other thing. I, I kind of remember that when we pulled him over. Possession of MDMA. And now he has fentanyl on him, so we'll say drug possession. We'll say fentanyl. And then also, uh, we're going to say traffic, and we're going to say driving under the influence. Okay, and then we can also give him a, a citation here for vehicle equipment. Uh, we can probably just say un, un uh, roadworthy vehicle, and then failure to secure load. And then one other thing we can do as well is, for him, we can do littering, because it fell off his truck, right? And so we'll submit those as well. And then we'll see their court case in just a moment here at the end of the video. Yeah, this Dodge Durango turned out pretty good in 2018. And it's based off of Creek County. It's kind of nice. And then uh, let me show you the inside of the vehicle since I did at the beginning of the, the video there. It's a little bit glaring, you know, for the uh, some of the lighting in here. I kind of wish you had fixed that. But hands are on the wheel. Uh, we got a really cool radar system like right there. Really nice lit police. Yeah, a tough book and cool partition. The only thing that needs to be fixed is probably that glare right there. Oh, right through the red, right there. That's what we're looking for. Little things like that, you know. Dispatch, uh, show us on a traffic stop going eastbound US Route 1. We got a gold colored Begali pulled over here, occupied two times. Acknowledged. Dispatch requesting vehicle plate check. Requesting plate check. Okay, just no registration in the vehicle, supposedly. Oh, I thought there was another person in there. Hello, man. W. Benzo, Blaine County Sheriff. Hey, uh, Zergy, going right through that red light. License, registration, insurance. Okay, she doesn't have her, her uh, registration's expired. All right. Now your registration is expired, right? She goes, please just give me a warning. I'll renew it right away. All right, you hang on tight, okay? And you haven't had any drink today? No, I haven't had any drink. All right, hang tight. This may be just a simple traffic stop. Okay. 
Everything seems to be in order. Uh, we could get her, cut her a break on the, you know, the actual exp expiration of the uh, insurance. That I believe that's what that was. So uh, let's see here. Actually, I can look it up again. Our registration, brother. Why don't we just do this? We'll just do failure uh, to stop. We'll cut our break on that. It just seems to be okay. We don't have to write tickets for every single little thing, you know. All right, man. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to cut you a break on the vehicle registration expiration. But we are going to give you a citation for running the red back there on US Trial 1. And court case is going to be on July the 2nd. It's going to be about 9 o'clock in the morning. Make sure you show up about uh, a couple hours early. Make sure you wear a mask. And then also bring uh, Cheetos, Doritos, Skittles, Donuts, Burritos, everything for the staff. Uh, we might cut you a break on the ticket if you do that, okay? All right. Have a good day. <laughs> the look on her face. She's like, really? Isn't that considered a bribe? Yeah, it depends on how you look at it. I look at it like a party. It's a courthouse party. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Sixty nine. Sixty nine all night long. All right, it's gonna be a Mesa. It's gonna be that Jeep up there. Do a little bit of radar. I dispatch, show me on a traffic stop going uh, eastbound US Route 1, mile marker uh, 3. It's going to be a black message you occupied one time, stand by for 28. 10-4, copy that. 3, John 21, approach with caution. Dispatch requesting plate check. Just expired license, looks like. Hello, ma'am. Hi, Deputy Benzo, Blank County Sheriff. I clocked you doing 69 and a 50. Uh, license, registration, insurance, all that. All right. And then, uh, also, are you aware your license is expired? I know, but I like this license because I look younger in the photo. The photo. Oh my gosh, really? All right, well, hang tight. One second. She likes her driver's license because she looks younger. That's not a good, exp you know. No. All right, expired. Yeah, it's just 22 days. Not like a really big deal. Oh boy. Okay, so we're just gonna say vehicle speeding. Just a little bit over. And, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Give her another warning on the expired license. It's just a little bit over. If it was like, you know, over 60 days or something like that, it'd be different. Okay, ma'am, here you go. Now we're going to give you a, a citation for speeding 69 and a 50. And then also, I'm going to go ahead and get you a break on the expired driver's license. You definitely need to renew that. It's just 22 days past expiration, so it's not like a really big deal. So uh, make sure you watch your speed. Your court case is going to be on July 4th, Independence Day. Uh, the courthouse will be closed, but you're still required to show up. Make sure you wear a mask. And then um, you know, just wait outside the courthouse. Um, get there about 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, just wait there for about 24 hours, and I'm sure somebody will let you in the door after that. Okay, have a good day. Oh, and bring Skittles and also Cheetos. Thanks. So we may have a party for the 4th of July. You can drop those off actually at the police house before you head to the courthouse. And then head to the courthouse. And then just like I said, wait for 24 hours. All right, take care. All 
All right, guys, this will conclude our episode for today. I hope you guys have a great Saturday. I really do. I'm in San Antonio enjoying my uh, weekend with my wife. Uh, be sure to hit the like button down below. And thank you to the patrons and the members of the Benzo Effect channel. You guys are freaking awesome. You guys take care. We'll see you on the next episode, which will come out tomorrow. I'm hoping to live stream on Sunday. Uh, if I don't live stream on Sunday, then it'll definitely be on Monday. I hope to see you guys in live stream 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Take care, guys. Peace out.